Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. We are here in Waterloo for a KW Bonsai Club meeting. I'm bringing my larch forest and my larch tree for display at tonight's meeting. After the bonsai meeting, it poured rain for the last two days, so I'm out here in the greenhouse and we're going to work on the larch forest. The green needles are showing on all the larch trees in the forest now. The buds are going from a cylinder and they're just starting to separate a little bit, so it's a great time to start pruning the forest up. With the buds partially open like this, I can see what buds survived on the tree and if they died off, and it, it looks like all of them survived this year. I can also see the vigor of the shoots. Some of these shoots down low, like this one here, they're very tiny and insignificant. And as you go up the tree, you can see some great big sort of fat buds that are very vigorous. So you can get a good idea for the vigor of the tree. Here's a really vigorous one here. The buds, you know, probably almost 10 times the size of some of these lower ones here. It's just huge compared to these weaker lower ones. So I want to try and balance the vigor of the tree also. I have some shoots from last year that really took off, like this one here. It's really long and it just grew from a, a branch here and grew way, way up here through the summer. So that needs to be corrected. There's a couple of principles I'll be using when I prune the trees. One is I want the lowest branches to 
be horizontal or pointing downhill a bit or down towards the ground. As I go up the trees, I want them to go from pointing down or weeping to horizontal. And then as I get up into the canopy, I want them to go more upright. This is very typical of how a larch grows in nature. The other principle I want to use when I'm pruning these larches is I want to keep that single long branch and then all the branches coming off of it will be little short chaotic branches. So I've just got to keep the main structure of the branch intact, a single kind of leader, and then all the branches coming off it will be little short tiny branches. And they can be anywhere on the branch. Not on the bottom so much, but you know, they grow very chaotic in a larch. So I don't have to plan a real refined structure on the branches. I just have to keep them trim short. When I'm pruning the larches, I'll be using directional pruning. I can see on this lowest branch, there's a bud pointing down towards the ground here. So I'll be pruning it back to that bud to keep the branches growing horizontal. Okay, so here I go with the pruning. And again, I want to keep all this branch growth short and trim. And I'll prune this off to a downward facing bud like that. This one also. These upper ones will be pruned very short. There. I've got the lowest branch pruned up now. So I have the one main branch growing from the trunk all the way out to the tip. And then any subdividing is just short little branches coming off of that main branch. I'll start on the second lowest branch now and I'll use the same principles. So these side branches will be pruned really short like this. And they'll grow throughout the year, but I'll just keep pruning them. Keeping my larch type branch structure. And then for the branch leader, I have a good one here. These branches are kind of on top of each other, but you know, that happens in nature too. I want to keep this a fairly realistic looking planting, not an idealized planting. So this branch is slightly to this direction of this lowest branch. So I guess I should keep this as the main branch leader. So I'll prune this back short and this back short and the main branch will be shorter than the one underneath it so we'll go back to here like that so that gets these two lowest branches pruned up and there's another little branch coming off it here i'll prune back short so i'll follow that principle for all the branches on the tree you know just these lowest ones i'm trying to grow them so they grow down as I go up the tree, they'll be more horizontal. And then I'll you know, be choosing shoots that are growing upright as I get near the apex of the tree. I may also have to reposition some of the trees slightly. After I planted them in this pot, they kind of shifted a bit. So I could you know, straighten some of them up just a little bit, some fine tweaking. So I'll just have to kind of lift it out of the pot and put a little bit of soil underneath the tree and that'll straighten it out so it looks really vertical. I like vertical trees in a forest. It gives me the impression of an old growth forest if all the tree trunks are vertical. When you have trees on a slant in that, to me that's more of an, a younger forest. Um, an old growth forest, the only thing that survives is the upright trees. Anything on a slant gets a snow load on it, wind, it, and it breaks off and falls down. But vertical trees always seem to survive the best. So I'm just working away on the branches getting them trimmed up. Keeping them nice and compact. On this branch, it divides into two at the tip here. So this one would be growing underneath this branch. So I'm gonna grow this as the tip and prune off this one to the side here. So I'll come in with my branch cutters like that and remove this part of the branch like that. And I'll shorten everything else.
just like that. As I'm working on the trees, I see a lot of lichen on the trunk and it's covering up the bark texture. So I'll have to come in with a toothbrush and water and just brush away all that lichen off the trunks and some of the branches just to stop the lichen building up too thickly. I've got the tree on the left hand side here pruned up except for the apex. I'm going to tackle that next. I've got all these branches, all the you know branches coming off the main branch all pruned nice and tight. I've been pruning for direction, length, shape, you know all the common criteria that you use for pruning branches. So it's looking a lot better. It doesn't look as wild and uh, overgrown. So now I've got to go up to the apex. It's uh, I've got several things happening up there. I'll give you a close up of that. So I'll come into the apex here so you can see it right back here. So I've got kind of one branch coming off this way, another branch coming the same direction and then it goes vertical, the apex of the tree. I have no problem having multiple apexes on a larch because in nature a lot of the larches do have a lot of different shoots coming off almost like a broom style on the top of the tree so but I do want to clean it up so it's you know taking vigor out of the apex otherwise I continue to get it to thicken up at the top and you get that reverse taper so any vigor I can take out of the top of the tree and keep vigor in the lower part of the tree is just better for the overall shape of the tree in the long run so you don't get that dramatic reverse taper and you can see I do have some reverse taper at the top of this tree it does you know go from a certain thickness and then I've kind of got a bulge up here and it's quite thick and that's something you're just always fighting with larches is maintaining you know the thickness at the apex it just that's where all the strength of the tree is at the top here and that's where it thickens up so you've constantly battling keeping the vigor down in the apex and trying to you know keep the strength up on the lower branches down here I'll start my work on the apex now so I've got two really thick branches there so I don't want that I want to reduce the vigor up top so that one that's coming off to the side I'm going to cut back quite dramatically to right back to here so here I go rough cut first like that and you can see I still have a shoot coming off of that so I can develop that into the branch later on I have a shoot up top here I can cut back reduce the vigor up there I can do the same here now I can also shorten that apex I can take this part off the top and grow this as the apex so I think I'll do that anything I can do to reduce vigor in the top here right back to here I gotta be careful not to take off that bud there okay here I go like that I'm not liking this one thick branch here I think I'm going to remove that entirely so I will it just doesn't look good at the top of the tree there I'll just clean that up a bit like that and that looks much better it still has a bit of a bulge at the top here but uh, yeah there's not a lot I can do with that I mean I'm just trying to keep the vigor out of that top part of the tree and that's all I can do I might be able to reduce this one side branch back here a bit it's a little too vigorous this one right here so I've got three branches coming off one spot here I can definitely reduce this one back or take it right off like that uh, already taken that back I can take this part off like that I can reduce this back a little bit yeah not a lot more I can do up top there <clears throat> yeah I think that's about it for the left hand side tree so now I'll work on the main tree out front here I'll follow the same rules on this tree as I did for the one on the left so I'll start down here 
cutting all my branches short. And that's it for that lowest branch. Now I have to decide what to do with this branch that's growing almost vertical. There is a style in nature where you have the main trunk and then coming off the main trunk you have another thick branch that turns into a twin trunk and it kind of arches up and goes beside the main trunk. That's a possibility but I don't think that style would suit this forest so I'm going to reduce it. There's an outward facing bud down here so I'll take it back to there. So here I go. Like that. I'm taking all these other branches off short here. Taking them back. Well, that's got that branch cleaned up. And again, I'm not looking for perfection in these branches. I'm not looking for a perfect branch structure. I'm looking for something that looks natural and duplicates that larch look. So my branch with all these smaller branches coming off of it. So that's the look I'm trying to achieve is a very natural larch style. Here's an example of the different strengths and vigor of the branches. This is from the apex, this thick one, and this one's from a lower branch. So you can see this branch is really fine. The needles are very delicate and this one the growth is very coarse, coarse and thick and the needles are very vigorous so that's the difference in the two kind of vigors the weak growth and the very strong growth I've worked my way up to the top apex of tree number two here and I can see me replacing removing the top branch here and replacing it with this one out front. And that'll take some vigor out of the apex of this tree. So here I go. I'll come in here with the branch pruners. Somehow, like this. I'm just gonna rough cut the top off first, like that. And then I can come in a little easier now and prune the rest of it away. All right, right there. There we go, that looks much better. I'll continue to prune away the remainder of the trees and we'll come back and see how it's looking. After about an hour's work, I've got the large forest all pruned up. So I'm ready for the next stage, which will be straightening up the trees. So I can see this one is on a bit of an angle. The rest look pretty good. There's maybe one at the back there that could be straightened up a bit. But mainly this one on the left has to be straightened up. That one kind of bothers me the most. This one beside the main tree could use maybe a degree or two adjustment too to this to this side. I might do this like over here. So I'll do that next. To straighten that tree up, I'll need to, as I said, lift it up and get a bit of soil worked in underneath the tree and that'll straighten it up just fine. So I'll do that. I'll swing the tree around to this side and I'll get out a soil scoop and a spoon and I'll start working soil in underneath the tree here. Okay, here I go. I have my spoonful of bonsai soil and I'll work it in here. I'll put several spoonfuls in under here. And kind of work that in. Now this is just going to be, you know, trial and error. I'll put some soil in there and then see how the tree sets and make adjustments if necessary. Okay, I'll set that tree.
tree back down and and I'll rotate it around to the front and see how it looks. Okay, I'm looking from the front now and that looks much better. The tree is nice and straight. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. I'm going to look at the trees from the side view again and just make sure they're straight looking from the side. I'm looking in at the side view now and they're a bit jumbled. Um, my front tree could lean towards the front a little more. Uh, there's a tree, the tree I just adjusted looks nice and vertical, but the one behind it is sloping towards the front, so that has to be moved back also. So a little adjusting to do in the side view, so I'll, I'll do that next. These are the two trees that I want to adjust next, and they have to come apart like this to straighten them up. So that means I've got to pile soil in between the trees right underneath the planting here. So this will be a little harder, but not impossible, I hope. Here I go. I'm going to have to lift them up and get soil in there. and work it between these two trees, so. So that one needs to come out a little more. So I've got to get some more soil between this tree and the other one. So I've got to lift it up quite high here. Luckily the roots haven't grown totally into the new soil in this pot yet. They're, they're just starting so I can still lift the planting up kind of halfway between the soil and the roots. I guess if, I, if the roots were all the way into the new soil under the pot there, you know, this layer, uh, I could still lift the whole root mass out and put soil underneath. Okay, let me try that. It's looking much better. Okay, now I've got to go back to the front view and make sure they're still looking good from there. So there's the side view. Hopefully that looks a little better. Let's go back to the front view now. So I'm in the front view now and I can see the tree on my left is not very vertical anymore. So I've got to make some adjustments. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that looks quite nice now. Yeah, the forest looks much better straightened up like that. It gives it a more mature look, I think. And the trees are trimmed up and that also makes them look like forest trees when they're kind of tall and skinny and the branches don't spread out very far. It, it uh, yeah, gives them more of a larch tree look also. Very happy with it. So the next task is to scrape all this lichen off the trunk, or not scrape it, but brush it. It's getting really thick, especially on some of these branches here. Um, if it gets too thick, it'll actually cover up the buds and they won't get any light and your branches won't develop. You can see on this branch, it's getting really heavy with lichen. So yeah, so I got to come in with the toothbrush and water and brush that very carefully off all the trees. I've got a toothbrush and my sprayer. 
So I can spray water on the trunks and then come in with the toothbrush and just scrub away the lichen back down to the bark. Just like that. So I'll continue going up all the trees and getting all the branches and cleaning them up the best I can. I've got this tree to the right all cleaned up. I do have to find, I've got a bunch of bottle brushes that I can get in to the junction of the branches and just scrub a little more accurately. And this toothbrush is starting to wear out, so I'll have to get another toothbrush. But I'll continue to work away at the trees over the next few days, cleaning them all up, getting them free of lichen. And then the next task will be to start on the landscaping. That's all the work I'll be doing to my large forest today. It's far from being finished, but we'll keep working on it over the uh, next few weeks. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me today on this rainy day in the bonsai zone.